in China. It is day one of competition here at the Victor China Open. We've had eight matches already and we've got another two to come. And coming up next, well, what a prospect this is. It is the number one seeds, the world number ones, Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Dorian Adianto, up against the silver medalists from the recent World Championships, Kim Astrup and Anas Rasmussen. And the Danes are former champions here at this particular event here in Changzhou. Five years ago, the Danes won the title. And this, of course, has to be the top section of the draw because we have the number one seeds. And the number one seeds, of course, are always at the top of the draw. So this is the first match in this section of the men's doubles. And we have seen a match from the second section of the men's doubles draw. Uh, but here are the world number ones. Fajar Alfian and Mohamed Arian Adianto. Oh, they'll be very keen after a disappointing couple of tournaments, their last two tournaments, at the World Championships. They lost their very first match. And prior to that, as the number one seeds, they lost in the quarterfinal in Australia. Now, as you can see, this will be a fourth meeting between the two pairs, and the Danes have the advantage, having won two of the previous three. But the last time they met was over three years ago in the quarterfinal of the Indonesian Masters. Three games it was in Indonesia. 500 events at the beginning of 2020. So what a world championships uh, this pair from Denmark had. Their second medal at world championships, the silver in Copenhagen to go with the bronze that they had won two years earlier in Huelva in Spain. Fajar Alfian is uh, 28 years of age from Bangdung in West Java. A uh, 175, that's five foot nine, and he and his partner are enjoying their 37th consecutive week as world number ones. They were semi-finalists here at the last edition of this event in 2019, lost out to Gideon and Sukumolio, who went on to take the title. Mohamed Rian Adianto is 27. And as far as they're concerned, three finals this year uh, from 13 previous tournaments. Uh, two titles at two of the previous Super 1000 events. In fact, the first two Super 1000 events of the year, the Malaysian Open and the All England Championships. So to the left-handed, uh, Kim Astrup, who's uh, 31 years of age and just become a father, dashed back from the Japan Open, but sadly didn't get a, a back in time. And they were supposed to play their opponents of today in Tokyo, but he dashed home hearing that his wife had gone into labor. Anas Rasmussen is 34 years of age from Oda, uh, which is just south of Aarhus. Currently number nine on the world Ready rankings, but did spend a total of five weeks across three different spells at number five on the world ranking. So for the Danes, the former champions, this is a third consecutive appearance here in Changzhou, 2018 and 19. So. Uh, umpire from Austria 
am the service judge from Belgium, so two Europeans in charge of this one. Schwerin, Austria, the umpire, and Van Horenbeck from Belgium, the service judge. Ladies and gentlemen, on my right, Kim Astrup and Anders Garup Rasmussen, Denmark. And on my left, Fajar Alfian and Muhammad Rian Adianto, Indonesia. Kim Astrup to serve to Muhammad Rian Adianto. Love all. Play. Serve is over. One love. Serves over. Two. One, two. Uh, that's well long of the back Serves line. Over. Three. Hitting with the drift. One. defense that's fabulous defense uh, from Anna the Rasmussen look at that drive defense and look how quickly his partner was in to make the kill Yeah, no doubt the Indonesians will want to try and get on the attack as much as possible. And I think they will feel they have a point to prove. Oh. Nice change of serve. But the left hand up alert to it. Three, six. Both pairs, very similar years, really, so far. Both of them 
uh, two titles from three finals reached. But of course, for the Indonesians, winning those first two Super 1000 events, that's the highest tier of tournament on the HSBC BWF World Tour. Four, six. Oh, a little bit of luck. Well, a big slice of luck, really, for Kim Astra. Watch this. That goes over. played themselves into form at the right time. Won two titles in two weeks, the Danes. European Games in Poland and, and then flew immediately, literally immediately, oh, off to Canada. And they won the title there. That's a 500 event on the World Tour. Goodness me, that must have been close. Seven, six. Five straight points to go into the lead. Oh, good change of pace. So it's over. Seven. All. I came there. Good interception from Alfian. Oh, my goodness gracious, that was the Nine, bottom of the net. Seven. Looks at his partner as if to say, should I have left that flick serve? Seven of the last eight points to the Danes. No! Oh! Serve is over. Eight, nine. Serves over. Ten, eight. I is reading the game Eleven, so well eight. at the moment, Kim Interval. Astrup going forward at exactly the right moment. Look at that. Great anticipation. And the reward, a three-point advantage. Mid-game interval. And nine, and that's the one point. Scorpion. And you can see that he's up there. And you can see that he's up there. 
Det er fint. Den kan jeg selvfølgelig ikke tage. Vi skal jage de bolde her. Det er dem, der bevæger sig mest. Det er dem, der kommer frem i svisten, eller dem, der kommer frem på nettet og kommer frem på mellemvand. Det er ikke den første, vi drejer ved, og rigtig god ud at komme ud af det første og presse drejen væk. Ja. Det er den, hvor vi, når den bliver drejet væk fra dem imellem, så skal vi til hegnet og til mellembanen. De kommer ikke til at stå dem, de kommer til at spille endnu mere kompromilløs ud for og foran og mellem os her. Ikke? Når vi har løftet sig op i den. Ja. Eleven, eight. So eleven, eight. The advantage, having been two six adrift. Service over. Nine, eleven. Now the Indonesians need to start commanding the front of the court. If they can do that, they'll get themselves on the attack, and that's what doubles is all about. Well, at the moment, the left-handed Kim Astrup is rushing the net on every opportunity, and he's the one that's dominating the front. He's missed it. Well, and he's challenging. Out. Well, my initial reaction was it was good. Let's have another look. Yeah, that was clearly it. Yep. Confirmed by Production Hawkeye. In. 11, 12. Yeah, good challenge. Play. Another challenge. Well, the line judge was rather hesitant. <laughs> Kim Astrup saying oh, it's closer than before. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. Served over. 13, 11, play. My goodness, how did Kim Astrup get that back? I don't think anybody else on court expected that to come back. Look at that, between the legs. And then, there it is. Look how deep Anas, and, uh, Anas Rasmussen is in his defensive stance. No wonder he was vulnerable to that little block over the net. Service over. Fourteen, twelve. 
hver gang. Specielt den, der vil gælde Kims foran, hvor han ikke kan løbe. Godt, Anders. Godt arbejde. Kom mig ikke til at løbe. Yep. Pounced on that little half court push, did Rasmussen. Adianto. 14, he was covering 16. the front of the court. Just put off Kim Astrup enough that he made the error. My goodness. Well, if he hadn't have slipped, he would have put that one away. Bloody Anto. Oh, I don't believe it. What a rally. Oh, a little bit of showmanship at the end from Ardi Anto. Well, he slipped early on in the rally. 15, 16. And then there was an net cord. There we have it. Well, really needed to see from early on in the rally as well. Longest rally so far. 40 shots. Oh, got in each other's way. Yeah, there's much more attacking play now by the Indonesians. They're forced to defend once more. And as soon as they're forced to defend, they look vulnerable. 17, 15. Come 
Yeah. 18, 15. Well, this, as I was mentioning earlier, is a happy hunting ground for the Danes. Winning the title here five years ago. Beat Han Cheng Kai and Zhao Hao Dong in three games in the final. Serve is over. 16, 18. Yeah, got through in the end. Good attacking play 17, from Ardi Anto. But how many did that take? Three, or was it four? So 18 all, this is crucial. see in his peripheral vision that Kim Astrup was coming forward to challenge him and maybe maybe Alfian just changed his mind and in doing so prompted him into error Well, he was lucky there, Astrup, because he broke the strings of his racket with that 20, final shot. Game point, 18. Two game point opportunities for the Danes. That's a very, very good smash. Oh, they won't win that challenge, I don't think. Oh, I saw that as good. Matters not what I think, though. That's what the instant review says. Yeah, it was clearly in. Challenge unsuccessful. One challenge remaining. So that's one of their game Service points over. has come and gone. Well saved by the Indonesians. 19. 20 play
last block. Opening game to the Danes, the former champions, Kim Astrup and Anna Rasmussen. 21-19 confirms the umpire. What an excellent opening game. The Danes coming from 2-6 down. 25 minutes for game number one. Final defensive shot. One always feared for the Indonesians when they were on the defence. The confirmation 21-19 to the Danes in 24 minutes. Caught one, twenty seconds. Caught one, twenty seconds. Well, the Danes continuing here in Changzhou, how they left off in Copenhagen. All guns blazing. Okay. Really looking to attack on every opportunity. Second game. Bravo. So one game to the good, 21-19, the number one seeds from Indonesia have an awful lot to do here. One love. Confidence at the moment for Ja Alfian. And because he's the playmaker at the front of the court, that seems to have quite a big effect on the partnership. is over. Three, all. 
Oh, that's a good smash Four, from Alfian. Perhaps that will restore some confidence. Good return of serve. Serve is over. Four. All. One gold at the European Games earlier this year. These Danes having been silver medalists four years prior to that in Minsk in Belarus. Serve is over. Five. Four. I'm very surprised that the Danes appear to be winning the flat battle at the moment. I think of the Indonesians being absolutely brilliant in, in the flat exchanges. Play the flat game. Lovely Six, by Alfian. That's good reactions on the defence from Astrup. Brilliant. And it's the change of pace once again. Seven, five. Uh, that is the undoing of Anas Rasmussen. Too far back in his defensive stance. Look at that defence from Astrup. Pure instinctive reaction. <laughs> Longest rally of this second game so far. Just not found his consistency or rhythm today for Jar Alfian. Oh, he's caught again. Rasmussen Nine, backing seven. off from the nets. And the little block just in front of him. He simply isn't able to change direction. Yeah. 
That's three or four times he's been caught with that today. Came to receive. Yeah, that got deflected so by over. hitting the top of the net. Ten, eight. Strings have gone in Alfian's racket. Oh! Yeah, that's why he dashed to the net. landed in as well another instinctive reaction on the defense from this man Kim Astrup look at that he was weighted committed to the forehand defense it came to his forehand side and now it's 10 all Push is long, and it is the Danes on a run of three straight points who have the advantage here at the mid-game interval. 11-10. Well, I don't understand any Bahasa, but I wouldn't mind betting that Arian and Miranat was urging them to play more of those little blocks. Especially in front of 11, 10, Anna's Rasmussen. Play. And find the gaps. But if they're going to do that, you've got to do it from the front court area. Oh. 
from wide. So this is four straight points now for the Danes. Serve. Lucky neck Serve cord. is over. Yeah. Eleven. Well, we all need a bit 12. of luck on occasions. Is over 13 11. Just looks to me as if the Danes have more belief in themselves at the moment. Oh, well, there you go, that proves me wrong. <laughs> Service over first of the commentator 12, 13. That's a big missed opportunity from Rasmussen. Yeah. Thirteen. All. Good backhand drive from Alfian. He's more than capable from the front of the court for Rasmussen. Although it's usual, and I think their favoured formation for Astrup to go forward to the net and be the front court player. Serve is over. 14. All. Service over fifteen fourteen. Last game to make the fart help. You know that by the sound help. Oh, what a return of serve from Ardiente. That is perfection. 15, all. Fifteen all. Serve is over. Sixteen. Fifteen. Yeah, look back at their coach. Can you show him? Looking to coach for inspiration. Always a sign that a player or pair are in trouble, lacking belief themselves. And it's strange, I mean, they're the world number ones, Alfian and Ardianta. There's absolutely no doubting their talent and ability. They're a lovely pair to watch. You know, they're just not producing their top form so far today. Yeah. That's what they've done time and time again. Another one, a little block in front of Rasmussen. And another time that it's an outright winner.
surprised if that's five or even six times he's been caught like that. them into trouble. No one was covering 16. the back. And Rasmussen getting to the back too late. Ooh. Well, that was in challenges. Hold in. Well, the umpire must have called that as out. The Danes are challenging. Here we go. Then it was clearly in. Good challenge. Correction in. One. 18, 17. Yeah, two challenges Play. remaining for the Danes. That was their first challenge of this second game, and they were correct. Three points away from victory against the world number ones. Yeah, now that's what we're used to seeing from Fajar Alfian. Putting it away. So 18 all. Who's got the nerve? Ouch. Oh, no. oh. Deflected. Service and that's over. Clearly 19, out. It's his second service 18. error of the match. Marianto. Two points away from a place in the second round for Astrup and Erasmussen. Make that one point away. Two match point opportunities to beat the world number ones, Alfie and Adi Anto. Oh, that's a good smash. Great placement. Service over, 19, 20. First match point, all saved. Another match point remains for the Danes. Championship silver medalists Kim Astrup and Anna Zorasmussen have put out the world number ones, Alfian and Arianto, in two straight games. 21 19, 21 19, the margin of their victory. A match lasting just under 50 minutes. Match won by Kim Astrup and Anna Zorasmussen. They came into 19, this tournament full of 19. confidence after their two titles in the European Games and the Canadian Open, followed up by that silver medal <laughs> a little over a week ago <laughs> in 
De ved det også. Ja. Og han har også kun en tredje vold, og det er de fleste, der ved det. Det er fuldt for. In high spirits. Confirmation of that score. 21-19, 21-19 in 50 minutes of play. Welcome back to the Olympic Sports 